On this day in 1960, four black North Carolina A&T State University students took a bold and nonviolent step against segregation. They staged a sit-in at the then whites only Woolworths lunch counter in downtown Greensboro. The courageous sit-in movement soon spread to college towns throughout the South. Let's get to WFMY News 2's Candace Red. She's live on campus at A&T with how the university plans to honor this incredible legacy of the A&T 4 today. Good morning, Candace. Megan, good morning to you. North Carolina A&T State University will hold a virtual ceremony this year to honor the A&T 4. Right behind me, you can see the banner standing tall along with the A&T 4 monument. Well, that includes Jabril Kazan, Franklin McCain, Joseph McNeil and David Richmond. Each year, the university holds a February 1 sit in celebration on campus with a special breakfast program, guest speakers, laying of the wreath ceremony and panel discussions. But this year, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the 61st anniversary of the sit-in is virtual. Well, Faison Myers is a student pursuing a degree in civil engineering at a and And he says, although the ceremony is not in person, it's still more important than ever before. There's a Things that is happening now, even in the midst of this pandemic and uh, the Black Lives Matter movement from last year, uh, never be, uh, better than before, we're keep on evolving and trying to be the change that we want to see. And I'm excited for it, not only just for Aggies, but for the city, for the community, for the nation. Uh, changes is coming and it started, you know, 61 years ago from this day. The live presentation will feature tributes by a and students and alumni, as well as family members of the a and four. Representatives from Dudley High School Academy and Bennett College will also be on hand. By the way, the, trad the traditional wreath laying ceremony will still also take place. Taking a look at your screen as I give you more details, the virtual sit in tribute will be streamed live today from noon to 2 p.m. on ANT's Facebook page. It's free and open to the public. By the way, you can also register online to watch the program with a special link. We have all of that information and more on our website, WFMYNews2.com.